Hey folks, Joseph A. Savora here, and as we continue with the Mighty Ducks trilogy, I'm going to review the very first sequel, D2 The Mighty Ducks, also known as D2 The Mighty Ducks Are Back, as they say in the commercial. It stars Emilio Estevez, Catherine Erb, Michael Tucker, Jan Roops, Carson Nogard, Maria Ellenson, Joshua Jackson, Ilan Henson, Sean Weiss, Matt Dory, Brandon Quinn Adams, Mike Beatar, and Keenan Thompson. It's written by Stephen Brill and is directed by Sam Wiseman. The movie begins when Gordon Bombay, who was a former PB hockey coach, has decided to start in the minor leagues of hockey and was expecting to make it to the NHL, that is until he suffers a knee injury by one of the competitor players. He then returns to Brooksville district of Minneapolis, which Bombay had a chance to, to coach a team representing the United States in the Junior Goodwill Games in California. And with the help of, of Jan as well as Mr. Tibbles, he offered a job for the Team USA to consist of many of the original Ducks and the addition of five new players with special talents. Dean Portman, the big enforcer, Ken Wu, the ex-figure skater, Julie Gaffey, a really good goalie, Louis Mendoza, the speedster, and Jerome Robertson, a cowboy who was a good puck handler. And they team up together to, to form the Team USA up against another competitor players, the Iceland, formed by a coach named Wolf the Dentist Danson. And while Team USA was having some problems, you know, by playing badly and having Julie and Portman ejected from the game, a kid named Russ, played by Keenan Thompson, started to mock the Team USA. He decided to help them out with him and his friends on on a practice by playing street hockey. And once they start practicing, they'll be able to get even better than before. But of course you, you get two enforcers, Fulton Reed and the important in forming their own team known as the Bash Brothers. Meanwhile Julie and and Goldberg are working together as goalies and so on. They're trying their best to, to learn and, and teach and practice of all the skills they had to take to, to win the championship in order to stop the Icelands from, from defeating them. Which then brings us to the biggest change of the new team that they were going to come up with. And this was definitely a great sequel to the very first Mighty Ducks movie from 1992. But this one was even better because considering that this was the first film that introduced us to the Mighty Ducks team with the official logo at the time, that alone became a real life team because Disney manufactured the hockey team prior to its release. Which then of course as we already speak uh, the Mighty Ducks team is now known as Anaheim Ducks, since it's part of it. But it's a very good sequel. Also, this movie had featured a lot of cameos by professionals. that includes Chrissy Yamaguchi, Greg Luganis, Wayne Kugetsky, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, and Bob Miller, who was the announcer. So, it was interesting to see them in one movie you know, prior to this. Um, I love Keenan Thompson in this role as, as Russ. I mean, yeah, he started out like that, but then again, he's always <laughs> he's always crazy. This happens to be his first film, by the way. Um, his feature-length debut prior to being in movies like Heavyweights and Good Burger and all these others that he's been in during the 90s as well as starring in All That and Keen and Kill. But this is the film that really got me into his humor because he's always been one of my favorite actors of all time. I mean, of course, he's now on Saturday Night Live. 
It's still on as of today. Hard to believe since he's it's been years since he's been on. And has a great cast too. Uh, Mike Biatar from Sandlot was in this one as well, playing. Yeah, I know Louis Mendoza. Ironically, Louis Mendoza is the name of my uncle. <laughs> yes, uh, I have an uncle named Louis Mendoza. So it's really interesting. You know that Mike Biatar coming from the Sandlot. You know that he's now playing a different character. That's in yet another sports movie. So I guess that's a good opportunity for an actor who had some skills here. But then there are other actors too that were very good too. Um, I, I lo yeah, the Brash Brothers were were hilarious too, and all this. <laughs> And yes, once again we get all these pranks, and I, I thought one of the one of the biggest scenes um, throughout the film was when when the ducks were all back together again, and and they started um, using those duck calls in order to bring those friends around while they're skating around all all the way all the way around just to look for them. Yeah, great scene. And yeah, it, it was an awesome movie. I I couldn't forget, and and prior to Keenan Thompson's role once again, who couldn't forget that scene with the knuckle puck? <laughs> As you, you know, it's knuckle puck time. <laughs> and wow, it was awesome. Yeah. But definitely, wor it's worth watching. I mean, if you love the first movie, you will definitely would enjoy the sequel. It, it's a fun film. You're going to enjoy it no matter what happens. It had some flaws in the movie, tons of flaws. But I can live with it. So anyway, I give D2 The Mighty Ducks 5 stars. Quack, quack, quack. I'm Joseph A. Sabora, and I'll see you later. Stay tuned for D3 The Mighty Ducks review coming up later. Bye.